In Florida, you do not need a concealed carry permit to carry a concealed firearm within the interior of your vehicle. The problem is, most people aren't aware of the legal requirements. Carrying a gun seems overwhelming. Let me assure you it's not. There's a few simple rules and some general safety principles, and you'll be able to carry with confidence. If you haven't met yet, my name's Jeff Lauder. I'm an attorney based out of Orlando, Florida. I use my background and education to explain complicated legal concepts with particular attention to Florida law. Check out the channel. We're starting off with Chapter 790 of the Florida Statutes, Weapons and Firearms. In particular, we're looking at 790.25, Lawful Uses. This is the instruction manual for the use, carry, and possession of firearms in Florida. If you carry a gun in Florida, you should read this statute. Links down below in the description. Florida State Statute 790.25 has five major categories. The first section is a declaration of policy. The second section lists the uses and people that are not authorized. The third section is the lawful uses section, also known as the open carry exceptions. The fourth section is a construction clause, which includes an expressed preemption provision. The fifth and final section is possession in a private conveyance. Goes over the legal requirements, compares handguns versus long guns, and also has a provision favoring self-defense. Heard to stand your ground? Talk about that in a minute. So let's dive into the statute. Subsection 5, possession in a private conveyance. Notwithstanding subsection 2, it is lawful and not a violation of Florida's prohibition on concealed carry, 790.01, for a person 18 years or older to possess a concealed handgun for self-defense within the interior of a private conveyance without a license if, then you have a choice here, you can make sure that your weapon is securely encased or that it's not immediately accessible. I'm going to tell you to go with securely encased. Let's look at the definitions and I'll explain why. Securely encased means in a glove compartment, whether or not locked, snapped in a holster, in a gun case, whether or not locked, in a zippered gun case, or in a closed box or container, which requires a lid or a cover to be opened for access. That's objective, it's black and white. Let's look at the definition now of readily accessible for immediate use. Readily accessible for immediate use means that a firearm or other weapon is carried on the person or within such close proximity and in such a manner that it can be retrieved and used as easily and quickly as if carried on the person. That seems more subjective, subjective to interpretation. If you go against an anti-gun judge, an anti-gun cop, or an anti-gun prosecutor, you might be in trouble there. You really can't go wrong with securely encased. So let's go back to the statute and look at this next awkwardly worded sentence. I interpret this sentence to mean that you can carry a long gun or a shotgun anywhere in your car. Let me know if you disagree with that analysis. Nothing here and contained prohibits the carrying of a legal firearm other than a handgun anywhere in the private conveyance when such firearm is being carried for lawful use. So if you're carrying a rifle or a shotgun, you can carry that anywhere as long as you can point to a lawful use in which you're carrying it. Let's move on. Nothing herein contained shall be construed to authorize the carrying of a concealed weapon or firearm on the person. It's in your car, not on your person. This last sentence is great. This subsection shall be liberally construed in favor of lawful self-defense as provided in 776.012. That statute is part of Florida's Stand Your Ground laws. If you're watching this video and you're carrying a gun in Florida, you better be at least familiar with Florida's Stand Your Ground laws. Luckily, I've done a video on that too. Put it right there. Hit it hard. 